Here's a graph of all investments in the history of the world. This is the way it goes. It's from Westcourt Funds. I took it from them, but I love it. See, it says that investment starts with optimism. There's an optimism. Then we go to excitement, and from excitement, I'm well, so glad I bought this house. We go to, I always have a tough time saying that word. What's that word? Euphoria. Euphoria. How do you say it? <laughs> Euphoria. Euphoria. I have to change that word. I have a tough time saying that word. <laughs> then from there we go to denial. Temporary setback. We're long-term investors. Don't worry about it. We're going to be in the house five, six years. It's going to come back. Then we get to fear. From fear we go to panic. From panic, oh, maybe we made a mistake. <laughs> Despondency to depression, <laughs> to hope, back to optimism. That's the cycle. We all know it, but I'd like to put it up on the board to remind us of it. Now the question is, when is the point of greatest risk to purchase something in that cycle? When's the point of greatest risk to purchase? When's the point of maximum opportunity? Where are we right now? Suicide, right? I didn't say that, he said that. So we're right at the point of maximum opportunity. Everybody I know that's worth anything, and I've been lucky in my life. You know, I bought a couple of buildings when everyone told me I was out of my mind. I opened up a real estate company in the early 1990s when everyone told me I was out of my mind. And all those times, I was looking at the point of maximum opportunity. So in my life, I've done pretty good for myself. I have a couple of dollars in the bank. And I hang out with people that have a couple of dollars in the bank. You know what they're all doing right now? Liquidating as much cash as they can to buy what? Real estate. Every one of them.